Hey everyone, this is Ringside Predictions, and I'm Grim Chorizo, and this is where I give you my predictions for upcoming WWE pay-per-views. Today we're talking about Extreme Rules. Rich Swan and Sasha Banks versus Alicia Fox and Noam Dar. Uh, not a whole lot, you know, to this match. Basically, Sasha has been teaming up with Rich Swan to kind of get back at Noam Dar and Alicia Fox. I think it should be a fun match that I see Sasha Banks and Rich Swan getting the win. Neville versus Austin Aries in a submission match for the Cruiserweight title. Uh, these two have had great matches at the past two pay-per-views. I think this one will be amazing as well, and I think Austin Aries will finally win the Cruiserweight title. I think Neville is a great champ. I would be happy for him to continue his reign, but if Aries loses here, I mean, that's three pay-per-views in a row. I mean, I just think they're building up to this victory for Aries. Steel Cage match between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus for the Raw Tag Team titles. This match should be... Awesome, and I think that Cesaro and Sheamus are going to win the titles back, and I think this could be the start of this broken Hardys. Dean Ambrose defending the Intercontinental title against The Miz, uh, and if Dean Ambrose is disqualified, he loses the Intercontinental title. I think this is a really shitty stipulation to have at a pay-per-view like Extreme Rules, where everything is supposed to be extreme. Uh, this is like the opposite of extreme. But I think that, you know, Maurice is going to try to get Dean Ambrose disqualified, and then, you know, go and attack The Miz, then it's going to backfire, and it's actually going to end up giving Ambrose the win. Alexa Bliss versus Bayley in a kendo stick on a pole match for the Raw Women's title. You know, on a pole match, just don't do much for me. Uh, you know, the build for this has been kind of weird, and the this is your life thing this past week, kind of cringy. I think Alexa retains here. I think Nia Jax is going to help her win the match. In the main event, a fatal five-way Extreme Rules match between Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, Finn Balor, Bray Wyatt, and Samoa Joe to determine the number one contender for the Universal title. This match is going to be awesome. I mean, you got five of the best uh, on Raw going at it in an Extreme Rules match. I think it's one fall to a finish, I believe. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun to see the kind of stuff that they do here. It's going to be, I believe, very extreme. Uh, and I could see almost any of them winning, but I think it's going to be Finn Balor. I think they want to build him up, and then they're going to do the David vs. Goliath thing with him and Brock. Brock will win, because obviously we know Brock's going to hold that title until he loses to Roman in next year's WrestleMania. But I think the match should be really good, and I'm looking forward to it. I think it's definitely the big, biggest thing on this show, which is good because it's the main event. So thanks for watching my predictions. I'm kind of looking forward to Extreme Rules. Not super psyched. It's only a few matches, which... Could be good if it means them all getting a lot of time, but I could see them adding, you know, like Gold Dust vs. Our Truth and maybe, you know, something else. I don't know. But either way, thanks for watching my predictions, and I hope to see you next time.